now i uh, request uh, professor ak tripathi ji to give his talk so a brief introduction about him is uh, professor ak tripathi ji uh, did his phd and he has a illustrious career for over two and a half uh, decades he has guided more than uh, 25 uh, phds and uh, he was right from the first batch or first uh, attendees of this uh, workshop and uh, he was instrumental also to start this uh, universal human values program at uh, iit bhu so sir over to you thank you uh, let me first thank the organizers of this uh, celebrations program for giving this opportunity to be here to professor narayan and all uh, the colleagues of the institute who uh, have identified it uh to be a venue for this purpose the institution that is established by professor sangan i joined banaras hindu university in february 1985 so it's a very big university and uh, my native place is banaras so i have uh, had seen uh, bhu when i was a child and uh, it was always very amazing to see इतना बड़ा विद्यालय भी हो सकता है सो बी एच यू इज अ वेरी बिग यूनिवर्सिटी इन द सेंस दैट देर आर सम फाइव इंस्टीट्यूट एज ऑफ नाउ आई आई टी बी एच यू वॉज पार्ट ऑफ बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इज सिचुएटेड विद इन द कैंपस ऑफ द बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी आई आई टी बी एच यू इट सेल्फ हैज सम सेवन थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स एंड सिमिलरली देर आर अदर इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज ऑन दिस कैंपस and uh, institute of science institute of uh, then faculty there are various faculties like faculty of social sciences institute of agricultural sciences institute of management there are some 20000 students who study in various faculties of the university when uh, we became an iit and the first director was appointed by the mhrd and i came to know that professor rajiv sengal has been appointed i wrote him a mail uh, congratulating him and he responded by writing a single line mail that the result is not yet declared <laughs> and thereafter uh, it was a meeting somewhere in delhi possibly dst or some place where uh, professor sengal was there and he introduced me to professor narayan also that he was the one to take over once he leaves and uh, the question that professor sangal had put to me there ki bhu mein harmony kaisi hai to mujhe maine koi harmony ka course to kiya nahi tha to maine kaha ki badi achhi harmony hai bhu mein to mujhe kyon lagta tha ki achhi harmony hai kyunki main morning walk mein jata hu and we have a group of people drawn from some 17 uh, faculties Uh, who assemble together after a walk and we take tea on some chauraha some cross road aur jab hum logo ki ye baat chal rahi thi ki hum logo ko iit banana hai to bahut tarah ke vidvesh bhi the bahut log nahi chahte the ki iit banni chahiye lekin jab bhi main us group mein tha jo iit banane ke liye hum log bahar jate the ministry mein whenever i would come back uh, with some good news uh, in the direction of making of uh, institute and iit तो अगर कुछ अच्छा होता था तो जो दूसरी फैकल्टीज के लोग हैं जो हमसे एग्री नहीं करते थे कि आई बनना चाहिए दे वुड वेरी हैप्पी ग्रीट मी और चाय समोसा वही लोग खिलाते थे सो आई थॉट दैट देर इज अ वेरी गुड हार्मनी सो दैट इज व्हाट आई टोल्ड हिम दैट देर इज अ गुड हार्मनी इन आवर कैंपस वेन प्रोफेसर राजीव संगल ज्वाइन द इंस्टीट्यूट ही स्टार्टेड मीटिंग पीपल going to various departments and talking to people for various types of uh, uh, newer uh, arrangements that he has had in mind uh, for the institute regarding the academic curricula regarding the uh, formation of various committees etc on the uh, initially we were supposed to work under the iit kanpur model so during all those times he kept talking about the need for integrating and inculcating uh, human values uh, as part of the curricula and uh, we started experiencing a sort of 
new understanding emerging out of the discussions uh, as many of the people uh, from various departments in the beginning uh, were not in a position to understand what this bringing in uh, human values course would mean in engineering education furthermore what we were being told that students of all the disciplines should be taking the courses and uh, teachers of all the departments are also required to undergo uh, some understanding and some uh, knowledge regarding what uh, is the need of the human values in uh, the engineering discipline engineering courses so very soon uh, some uh, program for initiating teachers for this type of human values course was taken up and uh, workshops were organized and it is a great experience for all the faculty colleagues in the institute uh, and not only for the faculty colleagues but even for the families uh, spouses of the colleagues also joined and they attended pradeep ji was also there and many people conducted such workshops and we under, started understanding the need of something that we never ever thought about and many newer types of understanding se starts it emerging in our minds jaise main aapko batau ki mujhe ye lagta tha mujhe personally vyaktigat roop se ki uh, isme kuch seekhne ka nahi hai kyunki bahut sari cheeze hum log sunte aaye hain pehle se janna chahiye shabdon ke matlab kya hai unko janne ke liye bhi नए प्रयास की आवश्यकता है क्या लेकिन धीरे धीरे ये चीज समझ में आई और बहुत बढ़िया चीज जो गुप्ता जी ने बताई शुरू में कि अंदर से हम एक व्यक्ति होते हैं और किन्हीं कारणों से दूसरा व्यक्ति दिखने का प्रयास करते हैं इसका मतलब कहीं ना कहीं हमारे दिमाग में सबके बना हुआ है कि हम अच्छे ही दिखाई पड़े तो अच्छा है लेकिन अगर ये नहीं पता है कि अच्छे दिखना क्या है तो दिक्कत है अच्छा होना क्या है तो सॉर्ट ऑफ स्प्लिट पर्सनालिटी एक जो हम अंदर हैं और एक जो दिखना चाहते हैं और अगर ये पता लग जाए कि अच्छा होना क्या है तो अच्छा दिखने का जो भी प्रयास है क्योंकि अंदर हमारे अंदर एक समझ है अच्छा होने की और धीरे धीरे जिसको नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस के नाम से हम लोगों ने महसूस किया बाद में अगर दोनों का अंतर खत्म हो जाए तो शायद सीजोफ्रेनिया वाली प्रॉब्लम नहीं रहेगी जो ये हमारी स्प्लिस पर्सनालिटी की दिक्कत है कि जो होना है और जो दिखना है अगर जो होने की इच्छा है भीतर से वो सही हो जाए क्या दिखना चाहिए और वैसा ही दिखने का प्रयास होने लगे तो ये जो दुविधा है जो परेशानी है स्प्लिट पर्सनालिटी की कि मैं अंदर क्या हूँ और बाहर मुझे क्या दिखना है वो समाप्त हो जाती है तो इसके साथ ही आ, हम लोगों ने क्या पाया कि वी हैड सो मेनी वर्कशॉप एंड almost i think 90% of the faculty colleagues of each and every department got opportunity to attend uh, one or more workshops and many of the uh, faculty colleagues from engineering departments also they got enthused and they come they came forward to devote quite a good deal of time us so, shayad sabse kam time dene wala main hi vyakti hu यहाँ पे प्रोफेसर कर्मकार साहब बैठे हैं जो नहीं आ पाए हैं प्रोफेसर आर के मिश्रा फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग और बहुत सारे अन्य मित्रों मैंने प्रोफेसर देवेंद्र कुमार फ्रॉम द सेम डिपार्टमेंट एंड मेनी अदर कलीग्स फ्रॉम एमंग रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स डॉक्टर योगेश इज सिटिंग हियर अमरेंद्र जी वॉज ए फैकल्टी अगेन हु इज ए फैकल्टी अगेन फ्रॉम माइनिंग इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट दे गेव अ गुड डील ऑफ टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द रियल रिक्वायरमेंट and a new type of experience we got through this that earlier i used to know students only of computer science and engineering department but this experiment that started in our institute i suddenly started knowing very many students from almost all the departments of the institute because we started interacting with students the students started interacting with uh, teachers and teachers were mentoring every teacher used to mentor some 20 students of the department or some other department whatever department that they were dealing with so this opportunity that came in this form actually 
it provided a good opportunity to gel with ourselves, with people who are available there. And possibly this was the opportunity. BHU is a very big campus. So many a times you don't know even uh, the other teachers who are there on the campus because there are some uh, 3,000 teachers in the uh, campus at a time. But with this opportunity, we started knowing at least the families of teachers of our institute. Earlier, we knew a few families. Like if I, if I am in a department, I would be knowing uh, families of the colleagues of the department. But suddenly, you started knowing others also. So it uh, brought a good deal of uh, understanding among ourselves. We started understanding problems of each other. And it helped in great way because uh, this brought us together, not only for the purpose of teaching human values courses, but this brought us together for all the transformation that we were going through in terms of the idea of the uh, architecting of the uh, courses of his studies at undergraduate and postgraduate level that was being initiated by Professor Sangal. And these were very new things uh, for many of the faculty colleagues because uh, as per the needs of the uh, requirements of uh, modern uh, types of education in engineering sciences and other areas, uh, newer experiments were being planned in our institute. So bringing people together doesn't help only in understanding uh, the needs of the uh, development of a human character. And it's not that this was the first time for BHU was going to talk about value. But it was not like this. Otherwise, it was like uh, Madan Mohan Malvi Ji, when he was in Kashi Hindu Vishwadhyaya, तो वहां पर एक मालवी मूल्य अनुशीलन केंद्र भी है मालवी भवन में व्याख्यान भी होते हैं लेकिन व्याख्यान का होना एक चीज है और व्याख्यान सुन करके फिर उसके बाद चले जाना और दूसरा चीज है दूसरी बात है कि उसको अपने बीच में और अपने विद्यार्थियों के बीच में उनको उतारना तो ऑल दीज एफर्ट्स वेर सो नाइसली गैल्वनाइज दैट वी हैड सम थ्री कोर्सेज at, at, in different semesters uh, for human value programs. And later we started the same thing for the, uh, the postgraduate level also. There is one thing that has to be understood and that I think uh, uh, policy makers at the national level and uh, more uh, administrators in the institutes, etc., uh, they would need to be enthused about it. Because once, I mean, if a uh, uh, director wants it should happen, everybody comes together. But if you suddenly uh, uh, have a general type of uh, thinking that we have in engineering education, that we need to impart education only of the discipline that we belong to, then obviously the restrictive nature of uh, education delivery uh, takes place. And that is what is happening everywhere. As of now, uh, uh, we have one condensed course in the first semester on human values and mostly taught by the uh, teachers of the uh, humanistic studies department at our place. And there are a, uh, a few colleagues uh, from other departments also who uh, show their interest and they engage classes for human values. And it's, you see, it, the model that was initiated by Professor Raju Sankal goes beyond uh, delivering uh, classroom uh, material. It goes towards uh, developing relationship with the students and through that, uh, explaining them what it means to develop relationship. So that is what is not very easy. What it occurs to my mind from these experiences that to be able to draw the attention of faculty colleagues of various departments, uh, there is a need to conduct some type of uh, uh, research-oriented uh, study for identifying the need of integration of uh, human value considerations and human, value, uh, human values in uh, the various disciplines of engineering sciences. I tried to understand a little about it, like when we, we, we teach software engineering, we talk about functional concerns and non-functional concerns. And we uh, teach that if the non-functional concerns are not addressed properly, then uh, uh, 
finally the product may not be acceptable for a long time like if the uh, if it doesn't have uh, it has not been built for security for safety for fault tolerance etc uh, then even if it is delivering functionality very soon uh, it may not be acceptable and this happens because in engineering education normally uh, we concentrate more on delivery of functionality and uh, the consideration of the non functional requirements take the uh, back seat i mean uh, second grade treatment is given to the non functional concerns here we is do we never think of talking about concerns that uh, concerns of people or society a very small example i would say uh, like railway reservation system hum logo ka jo pehle aaya जो पहले आया तो सिंपल मैपिंग थी दैट पीपल फर्निश एप्लीकेशन फॉर रिजर्वेशन एंड सम स्लॉट वुड बी प्रोवाइडेड आई मीन सब बर्थ्स आर अवेलेबल सम बर्थ वुड बी लोकेटेड फॉर द रिक्वेस्ट एज लॉन्ग एज द बर्थ्स आर अवेलेबल व्हेन नो बर्थ्स विल बी अवेलेबल देन देयर वुड बी वेटिंग लिस्ट इट टुक सो मेनी इयर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पीपल ट्रैवल एंड पीपल व्हेन दे ट्रैवल दे हैव गॉट सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ सोशल रिलेशनशिप फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर किसी कॉलेज से कोई टीम जा रही है तो इफ देर आर इलेवन पीपल हु आर टू ट्रेवल एट द लास्ट मोमेंट यू मे रिक्वायर टू रिप्लेस वन पर्सन बिकॉज द वन पर्सन इज नॉट फीलिंग वेल सो सम अदर पर्सन हैज टू ट्रेवल इट वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली हैपन्स वेन मैरिज पार्टीज गो कि बारात में आप सौ लोगों को आपने जो इन्वाइट किया था तो अस्सी लोग तो वही गए लेकिन बीस लोग बदल गए जिनको जाना था या कम हो गए ज्यादा हो गए so changing the reservation and other considerations also like uh, how who should be given uh, the upper berth who should be given the lower berth etc these requirements etc were thought later initially they were not there when the railway reservation system was designed so in software engineering always people say that if you uh, do not think properly the con about the concerns of stakeholders in the beginning itself then too much of uh, expenditure on the maintenance of the a uh, product would be taking place human concerns something when i talked to professor sangal he said that you can call it super functional concerns do we talk about the concerns of the society as a stakeholder do we talk about the human concerns in the engineering disciplines themselves so when if if we can create such a course where at least for some representative courses of engineering sciences if i am talking about the institutions of engineering studies where we can talk about human concerns and people can be uh, made to feel that there is a need to understand uh, human concerns as an engineering professional also not only as a human being because you are going to graduate with a degree and if you after fast four year transformation of the four year program uh, if you become an engineer and uh, you no more uh, remain uh, children of your parents and member of a society you become only an engineer you are no more a human being then obviously the real education has not happened that is what malviya ji also said so there is a need to uh, think about uh, do two things that occur to my mind first is that a uh, good deal of sensitization at the uh, level of uh, the uh, administrators of the higher education institutions that is something government of india will have to talk about because if the leaders of the uh, higher education institutions uh, are made aware of this need and uh, somehow the government of india identifies uh, this uh, as a deliverable whether you are delivering on this count or not then uh, they would factually be emphasizing i mean if government of india finds something to be thrust area everybody starts submitting project in that area so that is the idea i mean the leaders of the educational institutions are uh, sensitized about it rather when possibly leaders are identified for administering an educational institution when they are talked about this thing then it will necessarily happen and it will be sustainable and the second point the second concern that occurs to my mind is that the uh, syllabi of the engineering education that we talk about and in the research oriented studies of the engineering design and other things if human concerns are also given importance in doing that and some methodology is evolved to introduce subjects in that manner and then possibly what professor sangal was saying yesterday 
they're talking about uh, philosophy in between when you are making delivery on the real subject matter uh, makes it uh, not only interesting, it makes it uh, value oriented and makes it uh, more useful. So if I talk about uh, value education, uh, human values uh, in Banaras Hindu University, I would say that Banaras Hindu University is the university that conducts at least uh, not less than uh, 25 to 30 workshops uh, related to values in one or the other form. There are other some establishments also in Banaras Hindu University like known as Bharat Adhyan Kendra, Malvi Bhavan, Malvi Mulya Nishwilan Kendra. Malvi Aji himself was a great proponent of human values. But uh, the mundane uh, definition of courses of studies, etc., uh, at the national level have brought even BHU also to that position that uh, you, I'm talking about university, that uh, the university, I think, lacks uh, any course on human values uh, in, uh, in faculties of uh, science, social science, even the, in the faculty of social science and science, what to talk about Institute of Medical Sciences or Institute of Agricultural Sciences. IIT BHU is continuing with the human value course that was uh, started by Professor Rajiv Shankarji. We were fortunate uh, to get a person uh, who brought these new changes at our place. And we were fortunate to get a leader uh, who were uh, more human. Uh, I mean, he was not only director for the institute. We required a director who would shape the policies and who would uh, put in place uh, newer types of organizations, of courses, etc. And we were blessed to have uh, Professor Raju Singhal to start human value course also at our place. Uh, when uh, we talk about any 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 new idea in our institute today, uh, somehow uh, we think in terms of human values. Whenever we talk about a new thing at our place, this is the change that has occurred. So I think, and it is a doable thing. Uh, I think uh, many of the institutes that are coming up, very new institutes are also coming up. AICT has already taken up, and there is a need. Uh, that some a group should be formed uh, that can uh, go and tell in that in such institutions where such courses are not available about the need of this course. And I think IIIT Hyderabad is a good place to organize such workshops for such institutions uh, who may need to start uh, value education programs uh, in their institutes. So again, I'm thankful to uh, Professor uh, Rajiv Shankarji uh, for being with us for uh, more than five years. He was actually vice chancellor of Banaras Hindu University also uh, for some time. Banaras Hindu University didn't have a vice chancellor, so he was a vice chancellor. He's a different person. BHU had never seen such a vice chancellor uh, who doesn't require security. Uh, because in BHU, vice chancellor, BHU moves with the security that is comparable to security of possibly governor of Uttar Pradesh. So, uh, I mean, something that you would never uh, think of uh, in any educa in, in educational institution, like was there was a uh, um, uh, good deal of uh, um, security arrangement of the central government on the campus itself. Uh, we had uh, one quarter of the campus where rapid action force used to reside for a long time. PSE had uh, its uh, place in Binal Sindhu University campus possibly for three decades, not less than that. And suddenly IIT BHU got a director who was living in one of the faculty quarters near the institute who had no security for himself. So it was a great experience for uh, teachers and students of the campus of other faculties. Obviously, institute people could always meet him. But for the university, it was otherwise. When Professor Sangal was Vice Chancellor of BHU, I recall one uh, uh, evening, rather late evening, I go to bed quite early. I received a phone call from him. University mein bahut bawal chal raha tha us samay, ki koi aapke guest aai huye thi ki unki car bahar khadi hai. To kuch mein garbar na ho jaya, to mere ghar pe rakh sakte hai kya? He never worried about his car. He had a guest, so he was worrying about the car of the guest. Because 
he never wanted security to be around his place. So we had a great experience of a great human being on the campus as a director. And uh, throughout our life, we will cherish the association with Professor Rajiv Shangal and uh, the good deal of understanding of human values as a subject matter. We always thought that it is something that is important in households. In family, you learn what is the value. And educational institutions don't have any responsibility for it. Uh, there may be a course on humanities and social sciences. Somebody would come and deliver a lecture on history and geography, on what Malviyaji told and uh, what Acharya Narend Dev had in mind, what Gandhiji talked about. That is what by value we understood. But there could be a concerted effort. And there could be a good model of teaching. The model of teaching uh, human values, the course itself, it can be uh, made use of for conducting uh, various uh, tutorial classes. I mean, it is unique model in which you allow your students uh, to make questions. And I remember when I taught this course, actually, I was quite blessed that I taught this course to students of uh, Computer Science and Engineering Department. And Professor uh, Sangal was teaching, so I was associated with him in the beginning because I had no idea about what human values was. So although I was known as an instructor, but actually I was a student there. I was learning and I was blessed that uh, I have had the training with Professor Rajiv Sangal as the mentor of that, uh, those classes that were done for uh, undergraduate and postgraduate students of my department, MTech students of my department, and then PhD students of uh, my department, where uh, when you teach this course and come out, uh, Students ask questions and you yourself start asking questions to yourself. Whether I am the same person, whether I am, what I am speaking, what I, uh, what I am factually preaching or telling, uh, whether I do practice that thing or not. So it is a good course, not only for the students, it is a very good course for teachers also. And if you, if I do this course, if I practice the things that I teach in this course, then factually, I would never have schizophrenia in my life. Because I would be knowing what I am and what I am not. So initially, what will happen that I am something, I am one thing inside, but I am posing to be something other exteriorly for the whole, for the rest of the world. And slowly, I would realize that I need correction in myself. So it is a course, not only for students, for teachers also. It's a great experience. Thank you, Professor Rajiv Sengal, for being with us. Thank you.